Hi everyone, this is Lakshmi. Welcome to our new YouTube session from Everyone Who Codes community. Everyone Who Codes is a vibrant tech community that supports our members by providing access to resources, job opportunities, and expert guidance from industry leaders. So we are in a mission to guide engineers on their journey, helping them to achieve their dream jobs. So this has been going on in my mind for a long time and I wanted to make a video on this particular topic how, how to apply for software engineering roles as a new grad with no experience. So I know it is not easy when companies are asking for at least a year or two years of experience for any entry-level jobs nowadays. Um, companies are looking for a subject matter expert in your field I know it is a challenge when you do not have the experience for the roles you are applying. Uh, companies don't expect you to be an expert from day one, but you can learn, upskill and position yourself as one over time. Now here's how you can do it. First, project yourself as a very strong candidate. It is not possible to show any experience when you have none in your resume. But you can showcase your learnings and create yourself as an expert in your field. How to do that? Now this is by highlighting your strengths. So for example, if you're new to cloud computing, begin with a AWS certifications and create small projects to showcase your skills such as deploying a simple website on AWS S3 and gaining hands-on experience with the infrastructure. Finally, you're trying to project yourself as a strong candidate. Second, build and share real projects. Strong projects help you to stand out. Uh, so don't keep yourself hidden in your resume or um, or on your LinkedIn profile. Keep posting projects on GitHub and LinkedIn, which will help you to demonstrate your real world problem solving skills. For example, making meaningful contributions to open source project that create real impact and share these insights on LinkedIn. Another example could be developing a real-time chat application where you're demonstrating your expertise in web technologies or contributing to a popular GitHub repository and sharing your experience on LinkedIn. So here you're trying to show that you have built strong projects, basically real projects, which will demonstrate your experience in your skills for the roles you are applying. Third, Work on the skill gaps. So please do identify gaps in your knowledge or skills and actively work to improve them. So if you're finding something challenging, you should work on that skill to gain practical experience. Identify what you're missing and actively work on it. Create a habit of dedicating an hour or two every day on the challenges that you're facing so that it becomes a habit when you continue over a period of at least 21 days. Use resources which are available online or through a mentor. For example, if you're struggling with coding interviews, solve at least one lead code problem a day. So try to break it down. You can start from an easy problem, then moving on to a medium one, and then finally working on hard problems. So which will make you significantly improve your problem solving skills and help you to master coding interviews. An example could be like, uh, if you want to learn system design, break down how Instagram or YouTube works. Another example could be, if you're a front-end developer and uh, if you're finding React technology challenging. Build a portfolio website using React to gain hands-on experience. So here you're trying to work on your challenges, which will eventually make you a strong candidate for any role you are applying. 
Fourth, optimize your resume and tailor each application. Your resume should highlight relevant skills, projects, and internships. Customize it to each role that you apply to. Please don't send a generic resume. The chances of rejections are higher here. Work on customizing your resume for any role that you are applying to. So with no internship, try to create an open source contribution or build a strong, strong side project. An example could be if a job requires learning or experience in machine learning, you need to demonstrate your skills or showcase um, a project where you built using machine learning technology or something like a personalized product recommendation system. So which showcases your expertise to the interviewer in terms of your skills to demonstrate problem solving, business impact, tech stack selection, and this has more chances to move you to the next steps in the hiring process. Fifth, showcase your internships and experience. So if you have an internship, always highlight the impact you created. Try to have at least two to three relevant internships under your belt. So for, exa for example, if you're working as an AI ML intern, demonstrate your skill by creating a chatbot using NLP, natural language processing, to improve customer service, response times, which solves real world problems. So this showcases your expertise and skills in the area you are applying. Sixth, work on your LinkedIn profile. Ultimately, everything bottles down to having a fully completed LinkedIn profile. So which keeps you visible to recruiters and hiring managers. So you don't miss out on new opportunities. So work on your headline and summary to stand out. Ensure that it aligns with your professional background and experience and the job you're applying to. Also complete the experience section of your LinkedIn profile. Of course, in your case, it would be the internship section as well as the project section. Work on your about section, highlighting your experience, add the hard skills that you that are significant in your learnings. Work on the banner of your LinkedIn profile as well. As a photo, by adding a good high quality professional photo. Also keep your profile open to work so that it is easy for recruiters to find you by which you your profile will appear in their search results. So I will stop here because there's so much to say uh, about LinkedIn optimization. So work on having a complete LinkedIn profile. Seventh, build in public and grow your online presence. Share what, what you're learning, projects you're building and the insights that you've gained. Post weekly LinkedIn updates on your journey, learning something like Docker and Kubernetes. Maybe in another example could be write a blog post on how I built my first machine learning model in 30 days. Another example could be contributing to a popular GitHub repository and write a blog post on what you learned. Share your experience preparing for technical interviews and the key lessons you learned. Share your experience about your interview with any company and share what you could have done better next time. Post on LinkedIn every time you complete a project or solve a coding challenge or solving a real problem. The key, consistency. Keep sharing your work and opportunities will come to you. In today's job market, building in public is a must, which gives a visibility because everything is online 
and building a positive online presence is significant in your professional journey. Keep sharing what you're learning and the projects you are building. So these are some seven points which you should focus on if you are a new grad and if you do not have any experience to showcase for a new role. Finally, you don't need to be an expert to get hired. You need to show that you're learning, growing and building valuable skills. Employees value your potential to make a real impact on the job. Always be ready for change. Being adaptable and growing in any situation is necessary to be moving forward. Remember your career is yours to shape and you have only got the power to do that. So thank you for participating in today's session on how to apply for software engineering roles uh, as a new grad with no experience. I hope the session covered all the key points, provided uh, clear insights and actionable takeaways to help you navigate your job search with more confidence. Remember, it's essential to stay proactive, keep learning and building yourself in the process. Please don't hesitate to reach out for support or guidance on my LinkedIn profile, which I will mention in the description section. Uh, so to the, together we can overcome these challenges. Wishing you all the best on your job search. I'm sure our viewers found this session helpful. If you enjoyed learning something new from this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that others can benefit too. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and keep growing. Bye for now.